In the grand cosmic theater, few stories are as profound as that of the Voyager missions. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 and 2 embarked on a rare grand tour of the outer solar system, using a once in 176 years planetary alignment to slingshot from Jupiter to Neptune. These spacecraft revealed Jupiter's storms, Saturn's shimmering rings, Uranus's tilt, and Neptune's deep blue winds, transforming distant points of light into dynamic worlds. Each flyby was a revelation, each image a postcard from the unknown. The Voyagers rewrote our textbooks showing the solar system as a vibrant, diverse family of worlds. But their journey didn't end there. After their planetary tour, the Voyagers set course for the stars, aiming to cross the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. They became the first human-made objects to leave our solar system, carrying our hopes into the cosmic ocean. These machines, built with 1970s technology, have traveled farther than anything else in human history. Now, they are so distant that sunlight takes nearly a day to reach them. They are true pioneers extending the reach of human consciousness. Their legacy is not just scientific data, but a testament to our desire to explore beyond the next horizon, or the next star. Out there in the dark, they sail on, forever pushing the boundaries of what it means to be human. The Voyagers remind us that exploration is in our nature. Their story is our story, one of curiosity, courage, and wonder. Today, July 8, 2025, our connection to these distant travelers is more poignant than ever. Voyager 2, now over 20 billion kilometers away, is saying a slow, dignified farewell as its power source fades. The plutonium that fueled its journey for nearly 50 years is decaying, forcing NASA to shut down its instruments one by one. Each shutdown is a small loss, a window to the cosmos closing forever. The spacecraft now conserves its last energy for the most vital task, communication. Engineers must choose which systems to keep alive, prioritizing the transmitter above all. The goal, keep Voyager 2, talking to us for as long as physics allows. It's a race against time, a testament to the dedication of those who listen for its faint whispers. Voyager 2's slow fade is not a tragedy, but the final noble chapter in an epic story. We are witnessing the twilight of a legend, each signal is cherished, each day a gift. Its journey reminds us that even our greatest creations are finite, but its legacy will endure long after its voice falls silent. While Voyager 2's decline is gentle, its twin, Voyager 1, recently gave us a scare. In October 2024, after a routine command, Voyager 1's primary radio transmitter went silent. No data, just static. The Deep Space Network listened, but there was only the cold emptiness of space. For days, NASA's team worked frantically, sending commands and waiting nearly two days for any response. The world watched, united in anxiety for our farthest emissary. Voyager 1 is more than a machine, it's a symbol, carrying our golden record and our pioneering spirit into interstellar space. Its silence felt like a light going out, a connection to our own curiosity suddenly severed. This wasn't the first trouble, Months earlier, a corrupted memory chip had caused gibberish transmissions, but engineers fixed it from billions of kilometers away. This time, there was no data at all. The line was dead. The silence was a stark reminder of how fragile our grasp on the universe truly is. We realized how much we depend on the steady heartbeat of our most distant explorer. The loss felt personal, as if a part of humanity had gone missing. The world held its breath, hoping for a miracle. Voyager 1's fate hung in the balance, a testament to the risks of reaching so far. In that silence, we remember just how much these missions mean to us all. Just as hope faded, NASA's engineers played a brilliant hunch. The Voyagers were built with backup systems. What if Voyager 1's software had switched to its ancient, weaker S-band transmitter? The S-band hadn't been used since 1981, but the team reconfigured the deep space network to listen for a faint signal. It was like trying to hear a pin drop in a hurricane. They sent commands, then waited the agonizing 46 hours for a reply. Then, on October 24, 2024, a faint whisper was detected. A pure carrier tone. Voyager 1 was alive using its backup transmitter. Relief swept through mission control and across the globe. Our lost explorer had been found. A triumph of foresight and persistence. The S-band signal is too weak for full data, but it's a lifeline a dial tone from deep space. The primary transmitter remains silent, but that faint whisper means survival. 
Its proof of resilience sent across an unimaginable gulf. The world celebrated, reminded of the brilliance behind these missions. Even in adversity, Voyager 1 refused to die. Its whisper is a message of hope, echoing through the cosmos. Voyager 1's disappearance and rediscovery became a global event. For days, the world united in concern for a small probe billions of kilometers away. News outlets and social media buzzed with hope. Hash find Voyager trended worldwide. People who'd never thought about space were suddenly captivated. Voyager is part of our shared story, a piece of us flung into the cosmos. Its journey is our journey, its survival, our hope. The vigil was a spontaneous global expression of connection and curiosity. When the faint S-band signal was confirmed, relief washed over the planet. It was a rare good news story that transcended borders and politics. The celebration was about more than technology. It was about the triumph of the human spirit. The Voyagers are not just scientific instruments. They are cultural icons, inspiring generations. Their saga reminds us that even in a troubled world, we still look up and wonder. The crisis with Voyager 1 cast a shadow over its twin, Voyager 2. As Voyager 2's instruments are powered down, each signal is now cherished more than ever. The recent drama made us realize how fragile these connections are. Every update is no longer just for engineers, it's for a global family following the final years of a beloved elder. The world is now more invested in both Voyagers, understanding the stakes. Their data, however sparse, is invaluable, our only direct link to the interstellar medium. Voyager 2's journey is a quiet reminder of the challenges and rewards of reaching for the stars. We hope it avoids sudden pitfalls and continues its noble mission as long as possible. Its story is a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration. The longevity of the Voyagers is an engineering marvel. Designed for a four-year mission, they were built to last, with layers of redundancy and unmatched care. The backup S-band transmitter, dormant for 43 years, was a stroke of foresight. The Voyagers stand in contrast to today's disposable technology. They were crafted for the ages. Their legacy continues with a new generation of engineers working with ancient technology and solving problems from billions of kilometers away. The story of Voyager is one of two generations, those who built them and those who keep them flying. It's a human story of passing knowledge and passion through decades. Great achievements are the work of many, united by a common goal. The Voyagers are monuments to this collaborative spirit. They show what we can accomplish when we build to endure. Beyond science, the Voyagers carry the golden record, a time capsule from Earth. It holds images, sounds, music, and greetings in 55 languages, a portrait of humanity for any who might find it. Created by Carl Sagan's team, it was an act of optimism, presuming we are worth introducing to the cosmos. The selection was a monumental task. How do you represent all of humanity on a single record? The golden record is our message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean. The Voyagers are not just explorers, they are our messengers, carrying our story for billions of years. Their survival makes their cargo all the more poignant. Every day they function, our message travels farther. The golden record reminds us that exploration is also about connection. We explore not just to see, but to say hello. The Voyager saga is, at its heart, a story about connection. The recent events, Voyager 2's slow fade and Voyager 1's dramatic rescue, remind us how precious that connection is. It's a thread of radio waves, billions of kilometers long, maintained by ingenuity and hope. When it frays, we feel loss. When it holds, we feel triumph. These moments pull us out of daily life and remind us we're part of something larger. For nearly half a century, we've conversed with these distant explorers, their journey has expanded our horizons and pushed the boundaries of possibility. Within a decade, their power will fade and their voices will fall silent, but they will continue their journey, carrying our golden records for eons. Their silence will mark the end of an era, but not the end of their story. For now, they still whisper from the stars, reminding us that to explore is to be human. The Voyagers are more than machines. They are extensions of ourselves on the grandest frontier, and we will keep listening to the very end of the line.